Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. The second part of 7.2 update arrived to Russia last week. For some reason it was named as 7.3. This particular patch brought many changes and today I'm gonna tell you everything about new S rank minions. I used to believe we have too much RNG in this game, but unfortunately our Korean friends from NCSoft don't share this opinion. That's why they add complicated mechanics with every patch. For example, the only way of getting new S rank minions is fusion. You can combine 2, 3 or 4 fully evolved A rank minions. The chance depends on the number of minions, of course. If the fusion fails, you'll receive a random level 4 A rank minion. Upon success, you'll become an owner of S rank minion. New minions look very familiar. However, Gilded Sita, Grendel, Chromide, Veda and Hyperion grant better stats and more powerful skills. When you use the minion buff, 15% of its effect will be applied to all group members within 10 meter radius. So, for example, improved repeated jolting strike increases your PvP and PV attack by 600. All other allies in your group will receive only 300 additional attack. As I already said, new minions provide improved stats. And these stats may vary depending on the version of your S rank minion. That's another stupid idea NCSoft came up with. Each new minion has two versions and it's pure RNG which one you're gonna get. I don't even wanna think how many level 4 A rank minions are needed in order to acquire a proper S rank minion with proper stats. Let's now imagine you've already got the minion you wanted, and it's time to evolve it. The evolution requires class S minion it. This particular item can be obtained nowhere else except the new solo instance called minion it warehouse. When I said nowhere else, I meant in-game ways of course. Alternatively, you can use the web shop anytime. It seems like the evolution doesn't cost too much, but it's a delusion. You cannot evolve S rank minion with 100% probability. What? What the fuck? It will take you multiple tries to reach the next level. Upon failure, you will lose Kina and minion it. And your next attempt will have a slightly better chance to succeed. By the way, uh, besides all this RNG with minion fusion, stats and evolution, there is also a nerf. In the next patch, class A minion it will be removed from most of the already existing instances. This is another weird move from developer's side. Collecting 3600 minion it becomes even more time consuming. Minion it warehouse will be the only viable dungeon where you can farm class A and class S minion it. That's it for today. I hope this info was useful. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And if you want to see more of interesting content, more details regarding the next update, subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Don't forget you can also support the channel via donations. Check the link in the description. Thanks for watching and happy holidays.